Okay, so let's review what we have so far. Well, we have software breakpoints, which are nominally unlimited, but they require overwriting assembly instructions with hex CC int 3 bytes. We have hardware breakpoints, but that's limited to only four execute or write or read write or IO breakpoints. We also have the one general detect breakpoint, which is the mom, Sally's trying to write to my debug registers again, exception. But what haven't we seen thus far? We haven't seen a good way to single step. So how would a debugger single step with just these things? You know, certainly it's not going to be setting, you know, one of these four hardware breakpoints to every single next RIP. And the software breakpoint would be extremely limiting as well because you'd have to write, step, write, step, write, step. So how do they do it? Well, they typically use what's called the trap flag, another special magic flag in the R flags register. So the presence of the trap flag being set to one in the R flags register means that every single, every single instruction that runs is going to cause a debug exception afterwards. And we refer to this as single step mode. Now this is of course useful for things like step into where you very literally want to step one assembly instruction at a time and you want to follow control flow like call instructions and things like that. But it can also potentially be useful for step out of where essentially the debugger would just use the trap flag and it would step, 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 and it would wait till it eventually sees a return assembly instruction. And once it sees that, it knows that it can stop stepping after it has stepped through that. Now, I can't speak to all debuggers, but something like a step over is more likely to use something like a temporary software breakpoint. So you step right up to the point of a call and you want to step over a call. That means, you know, it probably doesn't make sense to just, you know, continuously single step forever until you make your way back to the assembly instruction after. It probably makes more sense to just write a software breakpoint to the assembly instruction after the call just continue it and let it come back. But, you know, debuggers could do it however they want. Now, just as a reminder, back when we were talking about the debug register six, the status register, we said that BS indicates that it has had a exception occur because of single stepping. So basically that bit right there is going to be the one that tells you, okay, I'm the debugger, I'm catching this exception, I can see BS is set, and therefore this thing must have single stepped. It's also worth knowing that the trap flag will be automatically cleared when the debug exception is fired. So if the debugger wants to actually keep single stepping, it's going to need to set the trap flag in the R flags that are saved on the stack and then IRET queue. And then an exception happens again, and then it sets the trap flag and then IRET queue, etc.